welcome to another episode of the Bug Bite, hosted by your Shirley Tech Coach Ralph, where we're engineered to win. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about some layoffs that are happening at Google. Yes, Google Alphabet. And it's around mobile development, right? So let's just jump into it and find out what the heck is going on. But first, if you haven't done so already, do me a big favor. Go ahead and like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can know every time that we go live. And let's just dive into it. What the heck is going on at Google around their mobile development? The article from TechCrunch says, Google lays off staff from Flutter, Dart, and Python teams weeks before its developer conference. And this was published on May 1st, 2024 by Sarah Perez. So let's read together. Ahead of Google's annual I.O. developer conference in May, the tech giant has laid off staff across key teams like Flutter, Dart, Python, and others, according to, the, according to reports from affected, pe- from affected employees shared on social media. So let's start reading this article. Ahead of Google's annual I.O. developer conference in May, the tech giant has laid off staff across key teams like Flutter, Dart, Python, and others, according to the reports from affected employees shared on social media. Google confirmed the layoffs to TechCrunch, but not the specific teams, roles, or how many people were let go. As we've said, we're responsible, we're responsibly investing in our company's biggest priorities and significant opportunities ahead, said Google spokesperson Alex Garcia Kumert. To best position us for these opportunities throughout the second half of 2023 and into 2024, a number of our teams made changes to become more efficient and work better, remove layers, and align their resources to their biggest product priorities. Through, through this, we're, simply, we're simplifying our structures to give employees more opportunity to work on our most innovative and in, important advantages and our important advances and our biggest company priorities while reducing bureaucracy and layers, he said. He added. So what what it sounds like, what it sounds like is what's going on here. These companies, you know, all these tech companies, you hear about these layoffs, right? The during the during the pandemic, they hired a bunch of people. Um, and now they're like, all right, pandemic time is running out, pandemic money is running out. We have to become back to being efficient and lean machines that we used to be. So, and that's what's going on here. Why Flutter, Dart, and Python? That's interesting because um, I've been using Flutter and Dart for the past, since since January, February, um, you know, to build out our time cost calculator app. And it's going pretty well. But what, what does that mean um, to have like Flutter and Dart and Python teams that go at, at Google? Because I believe Google is the one who is, um, you know, who is responsible for the Flutter and the Dart stuff. So let's let's find out what's going on, right? So the company clarified that the layoffs were not company-wide, but were reorganizations that are part of the normal course of business. Affected employees will be able to apply for other open roles at Google, we're, uh, we're told. In one post, uh, in one ex post, a PM from Flutter and Dart said layoffs had affected a lot of teams and that other than lots of great projects were lost. Um, Lots of great projects lost people, okay? We're sad, but still cranking hard on IO and beyond, wrote Google PM Kevin Moore in the Flutter development community on Reddit, where he added that Flutter and Dart weren't affected any more or less than other teams. We know y'all care so much about the project and the team and the awesome ecosystem we've built to get, uh, we've built together. You're nervous. I get it. We get it. You're betting on Flutter and Dart, so am I, so is Google. So it seems like with, they, they, they laid off people that were working on Flutter and Dart, but it's not like they're, they're getting rid of Flutter and Dart. Maybe they're making it leaner, more effective, more efficient, more cost-effective for the company. Because Flutter and Dart, they're a platform to build mobile apps um, and to deploy them into, into um, the iOS app, the Android app. Um, Bill, it's, it's very similar to React Native, but it's more um, using the Dart code, which it seems to be based on Java and Kotlin and stuff like that, um, versus React Native, which is based on React and and Node and JavaScript. So, so, th- so this is um, so this is interesting. So it's like people from the team were affected, but not the actual development and going forward with it. So, 
Google also told TechCrunch that Flutter will have new updates to share at I.O. this year. That's going to be interesting. I would love to hear about those updates because being that I've been working with um, Flutter and Dart this like in the mornings for this uh, past year so far for this um, 2024. In a separate post on Reddit, another commenter noted that noted the Python team affected by the layoffs were those who managed the internal Python runtimes and tool chains and worked with OSS Python. Included in this group were multiple current and former core devs and steering council members, they said. All right. Uh, all right. So let's keep going. Meanwhile, others, others shared on why Combinator's Hacker News, where a Python team member detailed their specific duties on the technical front and noted that for years, much of the work was done with fewer than 10 people. Another Hacker News commenter said, their early years on the Python team were spent paying down internal technical debt accumulated from not having a strong Python strategy. Technical debt costs a lot. Any type of debt costs a lot of money, right? Technical debt, one of the worst to have. Don't do it. The compounding interest on technical debt is so, so much. So it's best to, to get rid of it fast. Get rid of it fast, all right? So despite the understaffing, we had managers who were extremely good about maintaining work-life balance and the marathon, not sprint approach to work. As I said in another comment, it's the best job I've ever had and I'll miss it deeply, they wrote. And you guys know my approach to work-life balance. It is work, work, balance. I work ferociously. I need to have purpose in the things that I'm doing. Um, you know, I don't dedicate all of my, like, I work for my company and then I work for myself. And continuous growth, continuous improvement. What is balance, right? You know, I understand a lot of people need that work-life balance, but I need that work-work balance to be productive to achieve my goals. And I find with that driven mindset, we can get so, so much done, so, so much, so much focus, so much accomplishments, right? So, uh, but I digress, I digress. So, Python was the was one of the very first languages used widely at Google. It was the last major backend language to get a language team. The user GPS head also said, though Google didn't detail headcount, some of the layoffs at Google may have been confirmed in a Warren notice filed on April 24th. Warren, or the California Workers Adjustment and Re Retraining Notification Act, requires employers with more than 100 employees to provide a 60-day notice in advance of layoffs. In the filing, Google said it was laying off a total of 50 employees across three locations in Sunnyvale. Okay. Um, CNBC reports that a total of 200 people were let go across Google's core teams, which included those working on Python, app platforms, and other engineering roles. Some jobs were being shifted to India and Mexico, it said, citing internal documents. On social media, uh, commenters raised concerns with the Python layoffs in particular, given the role that Python tooling plays in AI. But others pointed out that Google didn't eliminate its Python team. It replaced that team with another group based in Munich, at least according to Python Steering Council members Thomas Wooters in a post in Mastodon last Thursday. All right, And the post says, it's a tough day when everyone you work with directly, including your manager, is laid off, excuse me, had their roles reduced. And you're asked to onboard their replacements. People told people told to take those very same roles just in a different country who are not any happier about it. It's almost like capitalism isn't actually good and you shouldn't want to live in the US. Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. I suspect I'll be taking a Kyo on extra long walks for the time being. Give me a give me a break. All right. And here's the thing, right? The way your decisions outside of work affects what happens inside of work. What does that mean? You figure it out, right? You guys, you guys advocate for your own layoffs, for your own outsourcing, offshoring of your positions by the policies you put in place, by the people you elect to put your policies in place. You guys asked for this, right? And then, and then you want to blame it on capitalism. It's all on you. Anyways, Google said it would support all effect. Oh, one more thing. One more thing with this, right? One more thing. What do you expect to happen when your state 
passes the Warn Act, where it gives you 60 days notification that you're getting laid off. Now, what the company's gonna say, all right, perfect. In those 60 days, you are going to train your outsource replacements. And if you have a problem with it, well, feel free to quit. And you don't get your severance if you quit, most likely. You don't get your severance, you don't get your benefits. You don't want, you guys asked for the WARN Act. You got it. And now what you're going to be doing for those 60 days, you're going to be training your replacements. Glad to pay you to do something. We couldn't give you a regular layoff. You know, some layoffs, they might be a, a month. They might be right away. And then you get your severance and you go about your business and you start applying for other stuff. And then you're complaining about getting, getting, um, getting let go from Google. So, like having Google on your resume is absolutely amazing. All right. Anyways, let's keep on. Google said it would support all affected employees in line with local requirements by providing them with time to search for different roles at Google or elsewhere, access to outplacement services, and severance. So, like I just said, you get your 60 days, you train your people in India or Munich or, or Mexico, wherever they are, and you go about your business. You guys keep hearing, you know, tech this, tech that. Tech is hard. Tech is hard. Hard. And it's ruthless. Business is ruthless. Nobody owes you anything. All right. So this article was published April 29th, 2024, updated with new info from CNBC on May 1st, 2024. So that is our article for today. Let's go back to full screen. And there we have it. There we have it. Google laying off some team members from Flutter, Dart, Python. They still have the actual teams, the Python, the Flutter, the Dart, just a little bit more lean, just a little bit more lean. At the end of the day, it's about money. It's about value. It's about spending versus profit. What you make versus what you put out. Google is starting to realize, like a lot of companies, oh yeah, we forgot. We are a business. We, we, don't, we don't have endless money. To, to waste. So we're looking for value. And that's why I always tell you guys, come in and bring value to whatever it is that you're doing. Bring value, bring value, bring value. Ask yourself, how can I bring value? And then the rest will figure itself out. Because let's say you bring value and then you get let go from Google. I, I, I guarantee you, you're going to bring value to somebody else. And, and the people that you work with at Google, they'll like, if, if, if there is no way possible to keep you at Google or Facebook or whatever, Tesla, whatever company that you're working for, but you brought value, you're not just showing up there for a paycheck and just being grumpy and, you know, um, negative Nancy, right? You go, you, like, they will recommend you. They, they, will, they will do something to, to help you. If they can put you on another team, they'll do that. If, if they can write you letters of recommendation, whatever the case may be. But if you're going to be bitter and you're like, oh, capitalism this and capitalism that and wah, 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 then they're like, all right, later. Thank you for your service. And you're, you're compensated for the time that you work. See, and, and a lot of times people don't understand. It, I mean, most people don't understand business, right? So that's why they, they can have all these feelings and thoughts about capitalism and stuff like that. But what is the alternative? Like money, like you still need money to survive. And companies are going to pay what you're willing to negotiate. I saw a post the other day about a HR company, you know, making an offer and stuff like that. And like you have to negotiate. Anyways. Whatever. We're going to get out of here. This has been another episode of The Bug Bite. Hopefully, you found it informative and helpful. Do me a favor. Let me know your thoughts on, this, on these Google layoffs. Leave me a comment in the chat. Leave me a comment about what I said. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Whatever the case may be. Would love to have that interaction and feedback from you. And we'll keep going, all right? If you haven't done so already, do me a big, big favor. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can know every single time that we go live and drop new content. And if you are looking to level up your technical skills your mindset, your game plan, go over to www.techcoachraft.dev, get access to exclusive content that is not on YouTube, as well as you can sign up for a coaching tier 
when I want to, I promise you this though, if you sign up with me, you are going to work. We're going to enhance your skills, enhance your mindset, put you on things that are going to, to change your approach to the tech industry. They always, they keep telling you tech is easy. Tech is new, you know, come into this industry and then you get in there and you know, absolutely nothing. We're going to change that. All right. We're going to put you on a, ga a game plan. We have to put you on a PIP and a performance improvement plan, but we're going to get there. Right. So that's that. Check it out. www.techcoachrop.dev if you want to level up. But on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Bug Bite. This is Tech Coach Ralph, and we are out. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.